Hey everyone, welcome back to Depth Tier. So let's go ahead and get right back to it. We're still right here by the Flame Shrine we just cleared in the last episode. We do have enough loot space on us to keep moving a little bit. So what we're going to do is probably drop down here through that castle right in front of us, or the ruins, and then make our way over here to the Almanac. Just because it's so close, I just want to grab it really fast. And then we'll probably try to come to the Blacksmiths and see if that stuff's going to move just like any of a tanning station did. And I feel like we kind of need to push this way, but there might be lower level mobs that way. Because we still haven't cleared Roost Nook yet. I just walked past it that one time. Let's go ahead and jump down here. So there's some level 16 rats in here. Then we have a chest back here on the corner. Let's grab that, some arrows and mana potions. Now we have a staircase going down. Let's check this out. More rats. Another chest. I don't see anything else in there. Let's go ahead and move towards that point. Maybe we found another southern caravan camp. Kind of off the beaten path. I didn't see it until it got dark. A bunch of wolfhounds in here, so be ready for those. Sure, we're on the map really quick. So this is the camp below our teleport, below Raven's Keep. Let's go ahead and grab the note. Two new locations added. There's nothing here. It's a new quest. I'm going to have plants and seedlings for the farmer. Let's go ahead and sleep so we can see. We have a basic chest in here. Let's grab that so we get some more arrows and stuff going. See some more lore inside of here. Maybe two pages of the lore and a legendary chest. Let's grab all this. Smoke on the horizon. New location charted. Just the queen talking about leaving everything behind, going to Longkeep, which is where our first base is at. Say another lore page, nobles in history to my beloved queen. And let's open this chest, Fowler Boots, level 18, 16, 16, 3 stamina regen, and 2 mana regen. And we just found some straw flour, so we got tarred straw block, plus one more at the workbench. And the scarecrow at the farmer. And it looks like if we want to complete this one, we need to head down here farther south. The Sioux Rats the rest, and we have a respawn point here. New location added. And I guess we're gonna cross over to this little town. Yeah, I definitely don't want to fall off. <laughs> that shroud down there looks deadly. I'm assuming we're in a, another scavenger's camp. And then we'll ease into here, see what we can find. Of course, I find the trap immediately. Oh, there's a fever. Oh, that's bad. That's a lot of damage. Where did these guys all come from? I need, like, a ledge. Now we're just going to magic down these guys with our wand. Go back to looking around. We didn't kill the cleaver. He ran away. That's fine. Let's see what we have down here. Some more basic loot. Ooh, leather. I definitely want to take that back. Let's see what we can get rid of. A couple of beds we can sleep in. Looks like that's about it. Still over at the front gate. Cleaver's eyeballing us. Can we reach him from up here? Probably not. Try to get a little closer and burn him down. He's down. We got 58 experience off that. Those guys are just a pain to kill. Man, this <laughs> this little town is huge. It's going to take a second to get through all of this. 
And I'm on the first floor now. Let's see what we have here. Gonna open all the doors, make sure we can mark where we've been to. Repair bench inside of here. Gonna loot our bodies while we're down here. And there's tons of basic loot piles on here. We're worried, probably won't go over all these. So we're here in the center of the camp. Let's see if there's anything good on the, right here next to this tent. Still not finding anything good yet that's going to get us the quest completion. We'll check this side out, then we'll have to go back to the other side again in a minute. And uh, of course there's a cave. I guess it's just a shortcut to get behind everybody. Let's see, let's go to the top. Piece of lore right here. Mine the nursery supplies, new location charted. This is the shipping order for explosives. Well, what's this one I used to do? I guess we can glide across if we want a fast way to get to the top. I don't see anything on top of this structure. We do have a loot pile inside. Top back down and finish clearing this side of the map. Chest in the back of this little house. Explosives, we don't need those. Inside this one, see what we can find. See nothing on the first floor. I feel like this is gonna be a second floor though, so let's try to get to the top. Yeah, I don't see a way to get in the top of this building, so I guess we're okay. Get a chest across this ramp. More bombs. We have a dark path that we're here to cross that we can cross over. Some loot back here. Not that we can carry, we're full of scrap metal. I don't really need scrap metal, I've got tons of it. So far, just a bunch of saber tooth tigers. We're still circling around. Stay over here by an outer wall. Place the grapple across here. So we can go ahead and do that. 
Ooh, I almost fell off that. <laughs> no, be careful on that one. So you could, we could climb up from the depths over here. Definitely looks like there's some lore or something above us. So we can climb up on this side. I was wondering if I could jump up this wall though first. Because we can definitely grapple across. Made it to the top of this. Let's see what we have up here. Oh, we could have grappled straight up. <laughs> I don't see any point in coming up here though. Let's see if there's anything inside. Locked door. It seems like a lot of work to get up here for there to be nothing. Pile of twigs. I guess the red glow is just this flame. Wait, can I? Am I supposed to get on top of this? Yeah, I don't see anything on top of here either, so I guess we're good. Glad across, take a look over here. So we can grapple across all of this. I don't think there's any point in us going through all that. Keep circling the outer edge for now. The staircase going down. Grapple point going up. Silver chest right here. Limestone building block. Good, that's what I was going to do with all the limestone I've been getting. Pick that up. Secret basement door at the carpenter. Another tiny room with nothing in it. Assuming this whole maze right here was just to, uh, it says, quest completed caravan raid. It looks like we're pretty clear on this side. Let's go ahead and make our way back in and work on the rest of the quest. Go ahead back out here, make our way across this side of the wall. Looks like we're getting into the main side of the town. Just scavengers in here and a hound. Let's go upstairs for a second. I don't see anything too interesting interesting up here, so I'll try to jump up over here. All these red torches are tripping me out though. I keep thinking it's lore. Why would we want to climb up here? Grapple across. I don't really see any reason why I'd want us to come up here. I guess if you're a ranged fighter, maybe? Oh, there's a silver chest right here. A wooden tooth hammer. And we can gra we could have grappled up here, it looks like. Let's see, can we get across though? I forgot these <laughs> barrels don't like you jumping on top of them. chest right here. Bombs and fossil arrows. Oh, no, I did not mean to fall all the way back down to the bottom. And we almost died. We need to heal. It's getting clear the first floor on this area. I didn't finish checking it out. I don't see anything inside of here. We'll look over here in this house right now.
Another chest on top of this one. Bombs and the explosive ball net. So you move right along into this next area. Tons of things to break down to loot. There's another door right here. Little hidden chest below. So we do have a path going down into the depths. I guess we could clear that. We'll drop down here. We can should be able to grapple back out, I think. Yeah. Trap some bombs. So this is just coming back up from the gate that we already cleared. So the building we cleared a second ago before going down is right there. We have a chest right here. Just more explosives, not helping us at all. Oh man, I did not mean to fall down again. Just over here on this little landing. Another way to go down into a basement. Oh, it's just a bathroom. Nothing down here. Then we get some water out here in the center of town. I did see some more out here. Oh, it's right here below us. Kind of heading back to where we started at to clear this place. Let's go and grab it. None can fool me. New location charted when marker added. Does they give to the almanac to the matron as a tribute? And said they hid some treasure on top of an old white card. From here, I'm gonna head back down this way and find a bed to sleep in really quick. Now that we're rested, let's head back up here where we're looting on this left side. Start clearing out some of these buildings. Got a chest right here on the first one on the left side, just another bomb. Now let's check out this little church looking building, see if there's anything good here. 
Oh, just more scavengers. Back in this main little central market looking area. Let's see if we missed anything over here. There's the closed door. A lot of the guys are already respawning it seems like. So I guess the patch updated that so they respawn faster. Another chest inside this one building. Just bombs. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Nothing to see here. Just keep moving. Let's check out this next center house. This place is like too big. It's taking way too long to clear. Let's see, chest finders, bookcase. <laughs> what do we need all these bombs for? Take nothing upstairs. Drop into here. That it hurt. Another chest behind the bookshelf inside the room we just dropped into. Looks like this place is cleared on that side. Let's go back down here to the bottom where we started from. So the wolf right here.
But so far this town is just full of trash loot. I haven't found anything amazing. So to reference where we're at, that's the front gate back behind us. There's the bridge. Still clearing our way through here. We've got tons of places left to go. Alright, so we're right here above the gate and where we first came in at. There's some guys in here in this little camp. And then some explosive bombs right here. We blew that up. This chest right here. I think this is going to be the nursery supplies. So we have the Silver Storm. So a wand that does a lot of damage. Completed the quest nursery supplies. And there we're still making our way to the back of this place. I'm slowly searching all the houses. So far I've only found basic chests full of nothing but bombs and basic loot. Well, we do have some more right here. Let's grab that. 
Oh, another cleaver guy. <laughs> Okay, we dispatched him. Let's go ahead and grab this lore. Primes of Sorat's Rest. New location charted. I don't think we're ever going to finish this place at this rate.
All right, so we've cleared everything except for the main building in the back. It says that's going to be the arena for the scavengers, I believe. So we'll do that last. And that's probably what we're going to call the episode. It's getting really long. And then we're going to go ahead and clear this tower now. I haven't found anything else noteworthy or I would have stopped to mention it. Still haven't seen any more lore, which seems weird to me as big as this place is. Let's go ahead and make our way to the top of this tower. Maybe the treasure that they were talking about earlier is in here somewhere. So we do have some stuff over there to grab a point. Let's go outside first. And of course, another grapple point. <laughs> uh, they put a lot of work into this side of the map. Let's grapple to this side. It'd be easier just to drop down if we see some loot instead of grappling all around the outside. A bunch of bookshelves in here so far. And there's so much scrap metal here, like I can't even carry it all back. I've been full forever. Don't see anything good here except that we can climb up to the top so let's go ahead and do that see one chest on the very top of the tower more bombs <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what we're gonna do maybe we need all the bombs for the arena let's see if we can ease down to where that grapple point was trying to take us now it looks like the roof is shielding it so we'll drop off on the ledge maybe wait, wait we can Whoa, we can climb down the tower. Well, that was completely accidental. I guess we'll have to look down there, too. Headed into the shroud, it looks like. So we'll come back outside here. Let's grapple across. Get another grapple point. Get some stamina built up first. And the chest right here. <laughs> More bombs. Now, I really don't want to climb all the way down there. It just looks like it's going to go on forever. But we'll take a look. Grapple across. That torture. Oh wow, looks like they torture people down here. How did, would you even get them here though? The enshrouded, we're not dying so we can survive. And a silver chest down here at the bottom. Hard bow. Level 18. And I guess we'll start making our way back up. Alright, we made it back to the top. Let's go check out this large building. I think we'll be good on this location. Alright, so we're in front of the mansion and again this is marked as the Scavengers Arena. So, we don't get wrecked in here. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, definitely a ton of scavengers in here. Our hammer out. Try Ooh. Yeah. Looks like a matron's in here too. But she didn't show up on the map. I don't want to get poisoned. I don't know how much she'll do. Pretty much one tap these guys with the hammer though, so it's no big deal. Now I need to find a way to get above her so we don't have to deal with all the poison. So some wolves are still left down there, and there she is. Let's see if we can hit her and keep her out here. Oh, it's just a level 18. Remember to avoid the headshots, they do a lot of damage. 
Crit, and she's down. Enemy slain, 125 experience points. Take a look up here while we're already on the roof. See if we can find any good loot. There's definitely a lot of seats. <laughs> I guess they all like hanging out up here. Still have some wolves downstairs as well. Instead, just got a bunch of floors going down. I don't see anybody to get to the top of this tower. I'll have to look on the outside once the sun comes back up. Let's go and loot her body, see if she dropped us anything good. And a matron head, even though she wasn't technically a matron. The almanac of plants and seedlings also, so we need to make some space. Almanac of plants and seedlings at farmer. Should we complete the quest, except for maybe have to go back and build it. So from the main floor here too, I found some loot on this side while I was running around. Let's come back here into this corner room. Let's go ahead and read that. A note to Kindle. Just a note from Lupa to her sister. On the back side of this tower, we are tower mansion whatever arena we do have some steep stairs going down let's see what we have at the bottom let's see so far nothing worth our time again <laughs> another long trip for nothing but just a giant bonfire i guess is where the hangout champion circle maybe yeah i don't see anything back here so from there we should be clear over here at surat's nest rest if you want to call it nest we still need to come down here in the shroud at some point and clear this should be another route we, it was marked on the map a long time ago. And from there, we still have all the flame shrines to clear. We need to activate the blacksmith request. I'm assuming it's going to do the same thing and make us go all over the place. But guys, the recording's sitting at like an hour and a half, so we're going to call it there. I'm going to have to do a lot of editing to get this down to a decent size. So as always, if you enjoyed that content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.